How are you guys doing? I'm so happy to be here. I made it. Welcome to Intel Vision 2022. Let's get the show started. Intel CEO, Pat Gelsinger. Hello, hello, thank you. It is exciting to be in person. Does that excite you? It excites me. Today, I hear from my leaders. You're going to hear from my leadership team. We're going to hear from our numerous partners that we have with us, and of course, our customers. And we're going to talk about how we're applying technology, how we're delivering the resources and scale to enable you to capitalize on the power of technology. And today, I believe we're sitting at this precipice of the digital renaissance where we're challenging the complexities of tomorrow and how we're interconnected and how we rely on leading edge technologies. But we also need to partner across industries, borders, and disciplines. Each of these four superpowers is impressive on its own, right? But when they come together, wow, that is magic. They reinforce and they amplify. The more connectivity, the more data, the more services, you know, and as they come together, they're accelerating and driving. You know, and as a result of that, we're driving at Intel this torrid pace. We're moving rapidly with decisiveness. And when you think about torrid, it's a word about speed and energy and heat. But in the Intel context, we're also applying a vector of that energy for setting a direction into the future. Businesses have been struggling to understand how to stay ahead. You know, our supply chain disruptions, oh, right? You know, ongoing pandemics and now endemics and how we're changing the nature of our workforce and how we live and work together. Throw on top of that geopolitical uncertainty and the potential for inflation and recession as well. These are challenges that we are all facing. And our team is excited to show you how we're developing the technologies that enable you to transform through that period of time. And we're turning these into solvable problems for today and for tomorrow. There is an unprecedented demand for chips, but there's also a lot of disruption mm -hmm. in the supply chain. Yeah, and you know, when we think about this uh, period of time, you know, Chips have never been so sexy, as I would say, right? You know, and uh, you know, manufacturing capacity, you know, the world needing more chips. But we've also said they don't just need more chips, they need a better supply chain. To mitigate constraints, Intel collaborating closely with the ecosystem throughout our supply chain, with our suppliers, with their suppliers, and with our customers. As we have previously announced, we are investing significantly in expanding our manufacturing capacity in both U.S. and Europe. You know, the PC is really the human touch point that we rely on to focus, create, connect, and drive our business forward. And we saw this during the pandemic. And I truly believe it's here to stay. And digitization is everywhere. It's been accelerated during this pandemic. And when you think about your daughter, I think about my son, who's also a freshman in college. It really has transformed the way that we live, learn, and work. It's different than it was years ago, and we're not going back there. And you and I have talked quite a bit about this. There's over 140 million commercial PCs mm -hmm. that are four years or older. So think about the machine that you had four years ago. It's probably not the device that you need to be successful today. And so all of that hardware needs to be upgraded, software tools, infrastructure, et cetera. So it's a massive opportunity for all of us. Just all of you, think about healthcare in the last two and a half years. The transformation that healthcare had to go through and actually what healthcare delivered. Absolutely massive. Now imagine, you know, sending in a technician in PPE gear into a patient room, one of those uh, ICU rooms, um, to, to touch equipment. With vPro, we didn't have to do any of that. We could do the uh, conversion remotely um, and, and it worked very, very well, I'm happy to say. I'm very excited to announce the launch of our 12th generation Intel Core HX Mobile Workstation Processor. It's a beauty.
It's our final product in our 12th generation family. It's created for the professional who needs maximum performance and flexibility. It offers up to 16 cores of performance and up to 5 gigahertz speeds delivering unrivaled performance. By 2025, IDC predicts that the amount of data that is being created and replicated will more than double. And our job at Intel is to make sure that we help customers make sense of all of that data in standing up services that billions of people around the world can leverage daily. And a great example of this is the work that we've recently done with online ticket provider StubHub. Uh, that wanted to transition their business applications uh, from on-prem to bare metal servers running on Google's cloud. In moving to the cloud, StubHub was able to expand their capacity to meet their growing customer demand while lowering their overall IT spend. And they were able to gain 64% performance improvement while lowering their overall licensing costs. Some work that we re recently did with Salesforce uh, to optimize their proxy workloads allowed them to realize a 53% overall gen-on-gen -gen throughput gain while also cutting their platform deployment time from one year down to three months. And all of this, of course, helps them accelerate the adoption of services both on-prem as well as in the public cloud. Well, Xeon is the foundation of the data center infrastructure, and this year we're introducing our fourth generation Xeon scalable processor, codenamed Sapphire Rapids. And I happen to have Sapphire Rapids it's magic. right here. <laughs> This is my baby. Can I hold uh, it uh, well, no, everybody no. wants this. Good uh, <laughs> stuff. Wow. Uh, we are shipping initial SKUs of Sapphire Rapids today. You know, every week I talk to at least one customer who's looking to introduce edge computing, uh, that's computing on their premise at the edge, in order to improve their business. In fact, over the last four years, we've put together at Intel over 300 market-ready solutions to help our customers to get started. And those deployments are now at 45,000 deployments in over 160 different countries. And almost half of those, 20,000, we're in the last year alone, right in the middle of the pandemic. And when you think about our frictionless solution, it's all about how do we make sure the experience for the customer has been an amazing experience. And Intel and UST really worked with us to ensure that we had an amazing customer journey, as well as improve the efficiency for our customers throughout our entire solution. Hardware enhanced security really helps uh, have more fortified security solutions that help protect the entire compute stack from the PC to the data center. And it's the key reason why we heard earlier Intermountain Health choose Intel vPro as their uh, solution of choice. Customers like Swiss Re and UC San Francisco are using our latest Xeon processors to improve their data confidentiality and data integrity. But with a new key technology called Intel Software Guard Extensions or Intel SGX, we can provide additional protection by keeping data and sensitive IP inaccessible to unauthorized parties or other uh, software running in the same platform. The Intel SGX keeps our data sets confidential even during the training process. And training in the cloud using the confidential compute with Azure, it's uh, one, more economical, and it's really a flexible way to train our uh, machine learning. So we've been you know, working on uh, you know, the, a new GPU that covers all these use cases. So up until now, all these workloads uh, have been delivered by multiple hardware solutions. Right? You have uh, a GPU for rendering, you have an AI analytics accelerator, encoding, decoding accelerator. So we have combined all of this into this one Intel data center GPU, this uh, you know, four different use cases that our customers are uh, building uh, data centers for. Um, so this is the Intel's uh, data center uh, GPU, and it one uh, critical thing uh, that I'm super excited uh, uh, that we're working on is this thing called Project Endgame, which is how to deliver this continual compute for uh, Metaverse. I haven't seen our advanced technology teams this excited, uh, you know, in my four years at Intel, like all the way from the process technology folks, packaging technology folks, uh, our memory technology experts, architecture experts. It's like when you throw them a 1,000x challenge, right, kind of the invention 
pipeline is, is flowing? Well, we're starting to build Aurora. Uh, Aurora is made of a large number of compute blades. You can see them uh, there. Uh, each compute blade has two Sapphire Rapids Xeon scalable processors. It has uh, six Pontevecchio GPUs, all integrated with a high-speed network. And then each of these blades is connected to thousands of other blades into a switch that make up the system. This will be one of the world's most powerful systems when it comes online. Intel is truly democratizing AI by making technology more accessible for businesses and helping them accelerate their digital transformation journey. And a great example of that is the announcement we're making today with Accenture on Project Apollo. Project Apollo provides enterprises with over 30 open source AI reference kits. And together, Intel and Accenture are making AI more accessible in the cloud, on-prem, and at the edge. And the first Apollo kits are going to be released in July. And we're working with customers to design and deploy AI strategies that work specifically for them. And the heart of most of these solutions is something called OpenVINO. This is a high-performance AI inferencing software toolkit. OpenVINO en enables their software developers and their system developers to write their model once to a particular API, and then OpenVINO takes over and it automatically optimizes it for whatever Intel I, uh, uh, AI hardware happens to be running underneath. So Blue White Robotics' mission is to create the 21st century sustainable farm. What we do, we take existing platform and transform them to autonomous. And while they operate autonomously with machine learning and AI, we collect data and use that data to increase yield to increase productivity and safety. Gaudi is deployed today in AWS's EC2 cloud, providing customers up to 40% better price performance than competitive GPUs. With Gaudi, simply put, you can train more and spend less. And I'm delighted today to announce the availability of our second generation Gaudi, Gaudi 2, our seven nanometer Gaudi 2 deep learning training processor. And Gaudi 2 is launching today, providing customers with a major leap in deep learning performance. You know, I want to tell all of you that there is a rapidly increasing need to ensure that the youth of today have the right skills and access to education and technology to become the workforce of the future. The Hidden Genius Project is a really a testament uh, in their partnership with Autodesk to the industry impact that we can all have when we actually truly make that connection with the community. What our project eventually will hopefully do one day is be able to help patients with epilepsy know when their seizure is going to happen. Our project is an AI-based innovation, which is named Gisharno, and it uses AI and AI-based satellite and thermal imagery to predict microbial and pest outbreak. I created Project Spati. Uh, my application is for drivers who are often exhausted uh, during especially long trips. The primary task of Spati is to wake the driver up from micro phase and also save users' data. Every aspect of humanity is becoming digital. Everything digital runs on semiconductors. And hopefully you've got a glimpse today of how Intel is bringing our depth and breadth of intelligent silicon, our open secure platform technologies, our manufacturing at scale, and how they will enable us to partner with you so we can focus on the opportunities and fuel the next generation of innovations that your business specializes in. You know, there's so much simply that is not possible yet. We are setting a torrid pace with our purpose at the center that we will create world-changing technologies that improve, literally improve the lives of every single person on our planet. You know, today's renaissance will lead us to tomorrow. Together, we can set a course for this new era. Thank you so much for joining us today.